What's going on YouTube? Thanks again for checking in with the Pistol Chronicles. This is Andrew. I uh, just wanted to give you guys a heads up on what am I running on my body armor. This is the AR500 Urban Tactical Vest. I did a very quick quick unboxing on when I received it uh, several weeks back. And I just wanted to give you guys an update because I've been training with this vest uh, for maybe about six weeks now. I've um, been doing a lot of simple calisthenics, things like that, that I would normally have to deal with when I'm running or using the vest. So I just wanted to give you an update on how the vest is working. And to be honest, it's actually working pretty damn good. Um, I thought the vest was initially going to start giving me some problems because of the uh, initial straps here that are elastic instead of um, you know, traditional nylon webbing where I can cinch things down. But I actually ended up liking the elasticity of it because it's able, it allows me to quickly snap on the vest without having to worry about if I'm actually using the correct tension or not. So that being said, I um, just wanted to show you guys what am I running on this. And besides the body armor itself, I want you guys to think that I'm running empty vested because believe me, I am not. Um, this is the standard AR500 armor. This is the curved armor. Okay, so it's curved to fit your body a little bit more uh, comfortably. Um, this steel is made in the USA. So it's definitely the top grade gear. It's definitely cost effective. It's low budget. Uh, the, whole the whole vest and accessories out the door was probably about the vicinity of 275. Um, so very affordable gear definitely pick it up if you see it on sale or if you see something come available uh, run out and grab it um, the mag pouches that I'm using these are the fire force tactical mag pouches that I was talking about earlier made in the USA and they're the desert digital Marine Corps camo and it is the exact desert digital Marine Corps camo or desert marpat as it's officially known uh, does run two standard 30 round mags and the mag pouches themselves were about 60 bucks so you can get them a good piece of gear rugged nylon very stiff very good these are obviously broken in and been washed a couple times already so I definitely recommend this gear um, the condor vest itself is made in China and I think I will definitely wear it out before the end of the year there's a tag there <coughs> I think I will definitely wear it out at the end of the year it's already starting to kind of lose its stitching a little bit up here and fraying in a few places but that's good now I'm getting my use out of it and it's definitely uh, holding up to the abuse that I'm giving it um, like I said I do train weekly with it so it's doing fairly well so far but I definitely expect to ditch the vest portion of this fairly soon um, what I do like about the Condor vest is that it does have some cooling pads on here. This allows a good amount of airflow to go through the vest. Um, usually this vest is drenched with sweat when I'm done with it and you can already see some of the salt rings that are starting to pop up from the usage. But it's definitely a good vest and I would definitely recommend picking this up if you get the chance again. Um, just some of my standard patches are kind of funny but I, there's my uh, last Marine Corps patch that I had on my last deployment, which is the only one I have left. I don't know what happened to the other ones. The uh, the back half is completely empty real estate to use. Um, I'm definitely going to get a hydration pack to go with this, although I definitely have considered uh, different packs to use. I don't necessarily like operating with a backpack, although it's definitely an option. I don't mind leaving it blank either because you don't necessarily need to weigh it down with gear because you're already running a standard sized sappy plate in the rear. Uh, again, this is the level 3 strike face. So it's already pretty heavy as it is. Total weight's approximately, uh, I would say, about. Mm, you know what? I don't know. I haven't weighed the vest lately. Maybe I should definitely take a moment to weigh it down and see how I'm, how much I'm running with. But um, I would definitely say that this vest has been good to go so far. Definitely got my money out of it. 
uh, definitely recommend people to go out and buy it look for the AR 500 brand and um, they have other American made vests on there also I definitely recommend checking those out I think one of those is the the Banshee vest uh, which you know if you can afford to spend the extra 100 150 200 bucks go get it uh, like I said I on the other hand just tried to get into the body armor uh, collection so now that I got it I definitely recommend it for those that are trying to just get into it and get a piece of body armor some body armor is better than no body armor I'll tell you that much so go ahead and get in it get started on it start running with it start training with it and uh, you know just go ahead and keep writing keep on practicing for anything that you might you think you might encounter so best of luck thanks again for checking in go ahead and click subscribe for me so I can start seeing what more people what gear mo people want to see and that'll help me out a lot so I can plan out uh, what content goes up. Thanks a lot, guys.